Have you ever wondered how your favorite producer creates sounds for his or her techno track? You know, those sounds that stick out, that make the tune and like gels uh, really well with the uh, rest of the composition? You probably have, so have I. And through a lot of learning, through seeing a lot of masterclasses and through talking with those producers, I've learned two things. First, there is no magic trick. There is no magic synth, nor effect, nor technique that will create uh, those sounds for you. All is done through experiments. And this is the second bit. All those sounds are created by experimenting, by trying new things, or by limiting yourself to the synths or effects you already have. So in this video, in this tutorial, I want to show you how you can use Operator, the synth you have in your DAW, to create amazing sounds. I want to show you some hidden techniques or some hidden features that are within the operator, but I also wanted to show you the way of working, the way of operating, the way of thinking about creating sounds, as this will help you tremendously to elevate your production, productions, to generate the sounds that will stick out, that will be truly unique to you and that will make your track flow. So first let's listen to those uh, sounds that I've created for preparing for this tutorial. So we have these guys and we have this. So it all started with this sound and then I was able to create this melodic sound and then this guy. Yeah, so uh, let me show you how this was done, what was my way of thinking and how you can use Operator to create really amazing sounds in your tracks. Okay, so let's load in um, the new instance of Operator and let's draw some notes. Uh, I will do it really simple. Let's have like a four bar loop and let's have, yeah, like C and then let's go to C sharp. And this is a small little trick you can use. Let's go to D sharp and C for your tracks um, as when you introduce this half step. So, um, you know, this is like a whole step, like two semitones. So one semitone, one semitone up always creates a lot of uh, tension. So this uh, by itself, and I will add uh, a bit of like a bass line. So we have a bass line going on. Pretty standard, pretty basic, nothing fancy. But uh, the bit I wanted to show you is over here. So when you go to the operator and you click over here loop <clears throat> and you enable loop, now you have loop going on within the operator. So what how it works is uh, that it calculates the time, attack decay release and loops, loops it. So right now nothing happens, but when I decrease the but super basic now I can also make changes with this parameter time because what it does time time uh, I would say make all the envelopes envelope times like longer when you increase it or uh, faster so the times go down so you can steer this parameter for any other uh, attack decay release times you have so this is pretty basic but when we will add another operator we are start starting to get something let's increase the chord let's increase the fine as when you add fine you also add a bit of tension because you slightly detune the second operator and right now let's for example add a bit of attack so it's not I like it and then <clears throat> so this is these are two main bits I wanted like the first bit I wanted to show you that you can use loopings and the second bit is that you can change waveform 
not only from over here from this drop down but you can draw your own so this is already nice and we can also add loop <coughs> on the filter out of it okay not bad let's uh, throw in some roar and this is like one of my favorite uh, uh, presets basic synth crunch okay now i feel like it's a bit too much uh, and i would like to have something more bassy so let's um, decrease the transport that's more like it okay but well, it has a bit too much of this loop can add a bit of LFO to the filter just to the filter so it changes the and we have some movement let's <clears throat> do another sound so this is the second bit i wanted to show you that many times a lot of producers try to throw in different preset different uh, presets different synths and samples and they end up with mess cause the sound don't gel together so the easiest way to make those sounds gel together is to actually use the same synth the same synth kind of method same synth engine to create another sound so let's i will duplicate this and i will throw in this melody um, clip so we get this melodic content from the same sound we already have in this instance i will trans not use the transpose and we will tune it a bit let's maybe change the there is this guy alien symphony i like it a lot and, and now we 
will just change a bit the okay now that and we have a little melody going on going up and going and then let's duplicate this guy once again and let's uh, draw some different notes maybe this time an octave higher slightly different let's stick to C as this will probably help us to avoid uh, something weird and then maybe decrease the time uh, I will s transpose this one as well. So I'm thinking of this kind of like really fast sound. Okay, let's maybe. No, no, no we need to change this. Okay, maybe now this Alien Symphony will... Oh, I like it. Okay, but I don't like it to go that down. Let's add a loop to this one. So we got the kind of this effect sound. We can change also the way those. We can add the last one with maybe just a uh, noise. We have a short note. We need to uh, increase the sustain. Okay, not a fan, not a fan. We can like do different stuff with it. I will probably create another audio channel and we'll record the output of this. 
So this is what we end up with. This was our first like bass scene. And, effect. and of course, this was me just experimenting really fast uh, doing this in 15 minutes. But when you like slightly fine tune it, you can get probably better results. So the bit I wanted to show you is that you can use operator in different way. You can use loopings, you can use uh, uh, the roar. One more bit maybe we, for this sound, we can also use this looping bit, just uh, um, maybe a different clip. I will show you something different. One, once again. We can also use the, use the pitch envelope. Yeah, so we have the pitch envelope and we can loop the pitch envelope as well. Oh, this way. Which I think is also really nice. Yeah. And now you have this. <laughs> Aquatic sound. many 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 stuff you can do with it uh, and this is all nice but i want you also to know how to use this in the composition how to make your tracks really interesting not boring and to do so please check out uh, this video on my right no sorry on my yeah right side your left side as this will uh, help you to create truly unique track and avoid the top mistakes that uh, beginner producers make hope this was useful hope this was helpful uh, and I can't wait to hear your tunes made with these techniques. Till the next time, bye.